my question to you to you all and people like me and people of my hue people of my level of melanin and blacker what the hell wrong with us man why the hell we feel the need to stunt on people or floss on people in our neighborhood but you go out to the more quote unquote prestigious neighborhood and you act like they heavenly you act like they God sent then you act like they children are saints but your child can't even walk down the street and play football without the fear of somebody dumping right in front of them Rick Bullis ricocheting people dying what the hell wrong with us man we got a big issue going on in our community that it don't seem like it's gonna ever have a solution to it because we got so many people on this ego shit. Get off your fucking high horse and do something for your people. If you selling drugs, your community is supposed to be right, bro. You making forty five, you making anywhere from thirty five hundred dollars to five thousand dollars on some weed. A pound of weed, if you know how to sell it right now, if you ain't doing that, that's your fault. Don't blame that on me, but I know it can be done. When we could do that just off weed alone, or motherfuckers cutting grass, people doing cutting hair, where people can speak, people can do all types. The black people are the most creative people on the face of this earth. Melanated people. So what the hell make us go outside and kill one another like we dogs in the street? I don't get it. I don't get it. And then when a man come home having to deal with all this stupidity, out in the world, you can't even look at a man without him trying to pull a gun on you. You gotta come home to a situation to where our community, women, the women in our community got issues with manhood. They wanna have the testosterone and the estrogen. We can't have it like that, man. The cornerstone to a strong family is not a submissive woman, but a woman that truly supports her man. You can be as strong as you wanna be, but if your man ain't being a man, or if you're not allowing the room for him to be a man, how can you ever expect anything to be done? The man's the creator. The woman creates the environment to prosper. If we ain't got a steady home, a man ain't gonna be stable. Now, as strong as a man is, he ain't gonna be, that's where the shit comes from, behind every strong man is a strong woman. That's where it comes from. You gotta have a strong woman in the house holding you down. Making sure when you come home, it ain't no chaos at the house. You gotta have that. That's why a lot of these damn motherfuckers out here shooting, killing each other in the, in the world, because at the end of the day, they was raised by chaotic single family, single parent homes. You got mamas raising six and seven boys at the house with no damn dad around. Now, I don't put all this blame on a woman because the dad ass should have been there, but when you got a mama that ain't about shit, that ain't had four, five baby daddies with eight fucking children, that's not fucking stability. You can be quote unquote as strong as you want to, but that ain't a sign of strength that you got the ability to let a man come up in you four, five different times, four, five different dudes, and none of these children know their daddy. That ain't a sign of strength to me. That's actually the ultimate sign of weakness. Now, daddies, y'all need to bring y'all lad back to the house too and get back on this. Get back into this grind, get back into this hustle because without strong men, we can't expect strong women. We didn't gave our women to the white folks. And that's the truth. You can look at the damn heads, the heads of how they have in here. Most black women, black as the motherfucking night sky, well, blonde hair. That should sound crazy to me. They ain't even in our natural DNA, but we want some in our natural DNA. We want some on our head that don't even look like us. That's a sign. That's, that's sickness. That's sickness. That's damn. That's that's philosoph that's uh psychological illness that you gotta go you putting shit in your hair that can clean off battery acid battery acid you putting that shit on your scalp you ain't supposed to put nothing on your scalp that you can't eat but we do that shit daily to make our shit look like we some mixed curly haired motherfucker we black wear your damn naps pick them holes out comb them brush them. That shit, it, it ain't hard, it's easy, actually. It's easier to take care of your natural black hair than it is to keep up this damn perm, these weaves, these braids on a daily. But you know how much money black women spend on damn hair a year? You talking about a multi-billion dollar industry that leave our neighborhoods every year. Nigga, that's better sell a dope. At this point, why the hell am I working 
a in a corporate situation when I can go hustle fucking hell. I can go get me some hell off a motherfucker. If I had me four, five, six damn white motherfuckers or Indian people or uh, done with some of these motherfuckers from the islands, I can go cut their damn hell, weave that bitch together, and go sell this shit for five hundred dollars a pack. That's how crazy we is, man. We crazy as hell. Some got to change though. Some got we got to get back. To that family structure we used to have back in the day. How we gonna do it at this point? I don't know, but I'll give you a couple pointers that can help you out. Stop making fucking excuses. Get your ass out there and do something productive. Have your own. Stop worrying about what these white folks say. These elitist white people, because I ain't talking about the average white person. They riding the same fucking boat as us. I'm talking about these elitist white people. Stop worrying, riding they assholes and stuff. Stop sucking on they assholes and get at get back. To who you are as a black person, get out here and do something for your damn self. Make your own money. Do it the right way. Shit, even if you gotta do it the wrong way, do it the right way. If you understand what I mean. Number two, stop having all these damn babies. Chill out. Chill out. Go, go chill out. Have you a little drink. Have you a little drink and chill out. Stop having all these damn babies because if you can't afford to take care of them, stop it. Okay? Stop killing one another. Three. What the fuck we killing each other for? We can mob the fuck up just like the Italians did and have some conglomerate shit. If we gonna do it the wrong way, let's do it the right way, like I said. And folks, show some motherfucking love for your people. Love your people. Love. Look at yourself. If you can look in the mirror and love your damn self, you can love your people. I'm out.